Hi, I'm Gregory Pitts, software engineer with Qualcomm Technologies. Today, I'm going to show you how to create, launch, and debug an Android application project using Snapdragon Debugger for Visual Studio. You can refer to the Snapdragon Debugger for Visual Studio Quick Start Guide on Qualcomm Developer Network or the user documentation for all the system requirements and software that is needed to follow along with this tutorial. The next step assumes that you have already installed Snapdragon Debugger for Visual Studio on your PC. If you haven't done that, please take the time to do so before you continue watching this tutorial. Once the installation is complete, open Microsoft Visual Studio. Select File, New, Project to create a new project. Snapdragon Debugger for Visual Studio adds a new Android project category under the Visual C++ template. Select it by expanding the Templates option, then expanding the Visual C++ option, and choosing Android. Once you've decided on a name and a location for the sample project, click OK to create the project. Once you've created your project, it's time to plug your Android device into your host PC. Ensure that the Android device appears as a device in the output of ADB devices. Once the Android device is registered properly with ADB, we can compile the test project. Select Build, Build Solution from the Visual Studio toolbar. You should see the build output in the Visual Studio output window. The reason the device needs to be plugged in before compiling is that the build process will attempt to deploy the application to the device automatically. Not having a recognized device will cause the build process to pause during this step. The build and deploy step are separate, so the application will still be compiled successfully. If you end up building an application without the device plugged in, you can just cancel the deploy step while it is waiting by selecting Build, Cancel from the Visual Studio toolbar. Wait for the application to be deployed onto the device. If you need to restart the deploy process, you can do so by selecting Build, Deploy Solution from the Visual Studio toolbar. If you're having trouble, please be sure that the device appears as a device in the output of ADB devices. It's time to set a breakpoint in the sample project. Set a breakpoint in hellojni.c inside another nested function. This breakpoint will be hit during the startup of the application. You can now launch the Android application by selecting Tools, Android GDB from the Visual Studio toolbar. Select Launch on the prompt that appears and it will launch the application on your device. After a slight delay, you'll observe the breakpoint being hit. You can refer to the user guide documentation for all of the debugging capabilities available to you once you hit this point. Visit Qualcomm Developer Network to learn more about Snapdragon Debugger for Visual Studio.